Hi. What I'm about to read to you is Jeremiah chapters 15, 51. Something that I've been reading on and off since the early, actually since the mid 80s, I guess you could say. Uh, I always thought they sounded prophetic, you know. <laughs> But they never sounded more prophetic until uh, Iraq invaded Kuwait in 1990. Then thing it seemed to light up like a Christmas tree, especially during the first Gulf first Gulf War. And then when the Kurds and the and the Shiites rose up against Saddam, thought, "Oh my gosh, it's going to go on, blah blah blah." And then nothing happened. And then it started happening again in 2002. It was like, "Whoa, look like, like this!" And and then uh, nothing happened. And, and I thought, "Ah, oh, forget it." So I got out of it. Yeah, it's like. Once I saw the Salam statue go down, ah, that was it. But if you don't think I've been into Bible prophecy for so long, I'll put some posts here and you'll see. Oh, yeah, 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 he was younger there. Yeah, oh, yeah, kind of better looking. And yeah, oh, yeah, and uh, uh, not as ugly. And yeah, yeah, you know, things like that, you see. So, I'm going to read to you Jeremiah 15, 51. And then, of course, I noticed that the battery is starting to die, so... I doubt even get through Jeremiah 50. Yeah. But then again, uh, YouTube won't uh, let me upload videos over t 10 minutes without taking like three days, seems like, to download them. So maybe it's a good thing that the battery's about ready to kick off here. But anyway, um, I'll read it to you. And uh, I'll read the, the, the King James Version, which to, for some reason to me sounds the most prophetic, you know. And uh, see what you think. Yeah. Okay. Here it goes. The word of the Lord spake against Babylon. Now, when it comes to Babylon, I thought that was talking about... First, I used to think it was talking about America. Then I thought it was talking about Russia. And then when Iraq invaded Kuwait, ooh, man, hey, talk about Iraq. Because, you know, Babylon's located in Iraq. And then I think, no, no. Yeah, it's still probably about Iraq. But then I thought maybe it meant something deeper. Like maybe it's dealing with Islam. But... Yeah, and Iraq. So anyway, okay. so sometimes if you read Jeremiah 51, it sounds like it's talking about Iraq, and sometimes it's talking about Mr. Babylon almost, like with it could be Islam or corrupted religion. We'll see. I'll read it to you and see what you think here. Okay, the word against the Lord, uh, uh, the the word of the Lord uh, spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans, which are located in Iraq, present day Iraq in our time, and Kuwait. By Jeremiah the prophet, declare among the declare you among declare you among the nations, and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Bel is confounded. Merodach is broken in, in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. And I thought, well, that's talking about a long time ago. But guess what happened? When ISIS went into Iraq. Just to, you know, they started destroying the images that were in, in northern Iraq and Syria. Destroying the images of Bel in, in, in Palmyra and stuff like that. And all these priceless uh, artifacts of their gods and everything broken in pieces thanks to ISIS. So that seems to have been fulfilled right now. Where it, didn't, it wasn't fulfilled during the Gulf War or during 2003. But now it seems to be. See, continue here. For out of the north, there cometh up a nation against her. Now that could mean the Kurds, or that could mean Russia. Because if you think about it, ISIS was not getting its patootie kicked, its uh, upraised Sunni patootie and prostration wasn't getting kicked until out of the north, Putin came down and showed showed, hey, you don't get ISIS by destroying. Um, uh, empty pickup trucks and uh, you don't get ISIS when you uh, call them up and say hey we're gonna bomb a building so they can get out and destroy that empty building you know he actually showed how it was happening and now thanks to Russia we actually started helping the Kurds and